My name is Jamie Griffin and I'm from Donegal in Ireland. Yes, yeah, bro. Yes, How are you, man? man? Good to yeah. see you. Hello, man. Welcome. We got the skate vids. Yeah, the projector, bro. This thing is the dream. I know why people spend money on TV so you can get a projector like this, man. You hook it up to the laptop and uh, you're sweet, innit? Yeah, we got some little Wii games in it. So I like to play Mario Bros. Um, Mario Kart, Mario Galaxy also. I'm pretty sick one. So how long have you lived here? Since February, bro. I, uh, I was living in a place just down the street and um, I was living there for like four months and then I got this place. And yeah, no, it's a nice place, I really Very like it, nice. very chill little spot. Yeah, bro, we got the uh, ultimate fingerboard spot. Alright, uh, what do you want to see? Nolly flip. Tray flip. You get almost the same satisfaction out of landing fingerboard tricks than <laughs> in real skate tricks. Sketchy, bro. Oh, We're taking it! Taking it. Bro, come upstairs, this is a... Uh, the upstairs bit. So yeah, I live here with two of my mates, um, Kitty and Pippa. This is a uh, wardrobe. It took me so long to like organize all this stuff. Let me show you a video. Uh, when it was all messy, I had to like take it all out and like organize it, bro. It's so long. It took me like all day to figure that out, bro. Got more jackets and stuff hanging up. Some nice little bits. I think I put like some of my favorite, favorite tops um, here. Like the guess, guess rave tee. I also really like this one. Most of these I just find on Depop, to be honest. Like I feel like on Depop, if, if you're there on like right place, right time, you can find some sick little bit. Or this one, this is the, uh, this is the Boohoo, Boo Johnson yeah, yeah, collab, yeah. the little Boohoo skit thing. I feel that material, bro. Oh, like yeah, for the winter, good. this is like the essential in it. Did you head out for a little, a little session? skit thing? Yeah, man, I'm keen. We got the new flop bar. So, uh, I think let's sesh that up. We good? We yes. good to roll? So, I started skating when I was like 11, because my older brother Roar got a board for like his birthday. I think one of our uh, relations got him a skateboard, and uh, I was just like a kid, so I did anything my, my brothers did. So I seen him trying it one day, like learning how to ollie on the grass, and I, I just gave it a go, and it just like, Clicked, you know what I mean? Like, I just knew it was for me. <sighs> yeah, we got a little uh, rooftop spot also, which is pretty sick. There actually is some spots around here too, you know? Yes, boys! Yeah, the view is pretty nice to be fair. Yeah, man. Super, super sick. Yeah, bro, we got the sickest hill bomb. Deppy Park is like just like five minutes down this way, and this hill bomb is perfect. Trying to see it? Front side flip. Whoa. Back in Ireland, I can't lie, it's a pretty lacking skate scene, at least when I was growing up there. There's a few like lo local skaters that would skate um, a skate park that was like 20 minute drive away from me. But um, for the most part, like I usually just skate on my own a lot of the time because even where I was from in Ireland, it's usually raining. I must have started skating Michelle when I was like 13, 14, pretty much like when I just started uploading Instagram videos. And then with the weather, I just really had nowhere to skate other than my own place at home. Um, so I just had to kind of figure something out one day where I was like, okay, I need to find a way to skate. Tried like skating on like yoga mats and stuff first, didn't really work. And then I seen the carpet and I was like, this is perfect. Like you, you can like stay stationary, but also be able to pop. Um, and then ever since then, I just started doing it. You know what I mean? Cause you add in the ledge or add in the flat bar, like it's pretty endless uh, possibilities of tricks you can do, you know? Influences maybe for me were like dudes like Luan and Shane, I think still to this day, they're like my biggest influences. Just these guys that just like have a natural like way with the board, you know what I mean? Like the body language and everything is just unbelievable. 
Um, but I think for the most part when I was a kid, I would just like scroll through Instagram and YouTube videos for hours, just trying to like see what new tricks people are doing and stuff like that, and then try to imitate it as best I can, you know. man like Talbot. Yes bro! Damn that thrasher T though, holy shit. It's like this guy has got the garm. You're the garm man. <laughs> nah, I, just, nah, uh, nah. I just turn up. Nah, you do more than that bro. What are you doing? Uh, filming a little bit. We were at, at mines, Liddy came by, checked out the checked out the gaff. Did you thought you just waltz in here and just we're gonna go. We're gonna go grab the flop bar. We're gonna take Disgusting. We're gonna take the hand. skip park with yeah. us. But uh, we're gonna go can the water. Yeah let's grab it. Got it. All good? Sick. We got it. You know, it's sick because there's like an extension piece, but I left it at the gaff. Oh, damn. The half mobile. Yeah, when it comes to learning new tricks for me, I mean, I guess when I was younger, have learned the carpet was definitely the main uh, starting stage. Like, I think for a lot of my tricks, like especially anything switch, I would uh, do it on the carpet so I could like figure out the flick and stuff like that. And then really it's just a matter of taking it rolling on concrete you know just try figuring out the trick as best as possible i think if you just look at it like physics wise like the board if you figure out what way to correctly position your foot and to flick and stuff like that you figure it out eventually uh someone want to carry this piece yeah bro it's so buttery it's so so buttery yeah it's I mean, as long as you lock in early, look, it's got like little like elastic bits or rubber bits on the bottom. Okay, let's do un, unfill them to give him a skate. We'll never know who won. No pop. Yes, G. That was a reverty one. <laughs> Nord hinting. Quite on double though. <laughs> That's a tough one. I don't know if I've really done that before, to be honest. You gotta like. I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, three more. Then we gotta skip the flop bar. Oh! Like revert it back around. This one for 10 pounds. I don't know about the biggest bottle, but maybe the trick I did when I was like, damn, I can't believe I actually like figured out how to do this was obviously the, the Merlin twist. I feel like that's a trick on Instagram that like people noticed also, but that one took a long time to learn to like get the wrapping or the front foot wrap is like pretty awkward technique. Um, it's a long process to try and teach my, my foot how to do that properly. What is that? Oh, bro, if my foot was in the right position, I would have had a chance. So I moved to London, I think it was late October last year, so 2020. Um, it was when I finished, uh, I finished secondary school in Ireland, I finished my leaving cert um, and I just wasn't too keen on going to college to be honest. Um, so yeah, I just decided to pack it up and move to London because obviously I had um, all the connects with you guys at Hop and I've met a few people so I was like, 
I might as well do it and just see what happens, you know what I mean? Compared to Ireland, obviously, uh, there's like so many skate spots. I think some of my favorites I've been to is just like the traditional ones like St. Paul's and South Bank. Like just little hidden gems that are all over the place really. Canada Water also, which is like super close to mine. Since I moved here, I've been, I've been overwhelmed with like the amount of new people I've met and like new uh, friendships I've met. And it's just honestly amazing, especially for me, like coming from super rural countryside Ireland, like, like you mentioned earlier about skating in the shed and skating alone, like from skating with nobody to skating with like 10, 20 people at one time. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy for sure. All right, here's Dreamline. Switch front three flip, switch tray. No, uh, yeah, you got that. You think? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that would be, that would be nice. No speed. Imagine how back to back. Oh my god, yes. Bro. One more trick off the ledge. <laughs> just spin, just wrap and spin. All right, that was the one. Bro. What the fuck? Taking it. That's so weird. It like rolled over my wheel then onto the board. Jesus, take it as I'm real, mate. That's so weird. Oh, okay. Let me see that clip, bro. So I think I first ever heard about Hop. I mean, I definitely maybe seen you guys on Instagram, but I remember the first time I like had the proper connections with you guys was when I first came to London. I remember I, I got like a, a commercial advert um, organized and I came to London and I was here for a night and I was like trying to find somewhere to skate and I knew you guys so I was like I might as well come to Hop King. It was a crazy situation because uh, like I said I was doing this shit and I had a fresh board with me. I was getting a three star and I snapped the board so I was like how am I going to do this shit? Um, and luckily, I think it was Nathan who hooked it up with the, the fresh board and uh, I liked how the board felt and I liked the energy and atmosphere at Hop, so it all, it all worked out, yeah. Alright, we made it. Yeah, bro. Damn, it is a chilly night, man. Winter is in full effect. Yes! Yes, bro! My guy. Ludi, Jack is wearing the hoodie I was talking about, the Tula Med. Yeah, the half half thing. Super, super sick. Yes, G! Yeah, the two, the two panel hoodie. You get that from Tula. You ain't got one of these. You ain't got one of these. Man! Sitting there in your office chair on your sofa watching TV. You ain't got one of these. Cherry Coke? Cherry Coke. Only cherry cook, please. My guy. Uh, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, little skit thing. What's his name? Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel from Germany. He skates us all. Yo, Yo okay. Gabriel from Germany. Much love, bro. Much love, Hope bro. you're all good. Cheers, mate. Yeah, no problem. Derek's training. Switch tray is scary. Honestly, filming the part was the funnest thing for me. Um, I filmed it with my mate Milan. He did a sick job at it. I, I, I honestly like going out filming and like planning out tricks and spots is like my favorite thing to do. 
So um, when you guys gave me the opportunity to film a part, I was just like super gassed and it's what I've wanted to do for, for a long time. I've made like little parts in the past before, but nothing that I've spent like that long with time at. And it, it is really sick to um, like plan them out and then go get them and then edit them. And then it's just, it's, just, it's a really sick process overall. I really enjoyed it and I'm gassed to make the next one. Obviously we've released this part, you're going to barracks. But from our point of view, we think that there was kind of something missing. Jamie, you're turning pro for Hopkins. Yeah! Obviously, like, it's, it's the cliched answer, but every kid, when you start to skate, like, dreams about having your name on a board. So that night for me was super, super special. It was a, uh, it was crazy experience for me, and yeah, owe it all to you guys, bro, for sure. Few more tricks. Fuck. <laughs> 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 it's still good. So with Battle of the Barracks, I think initially it was um, a dude, Ryan Denman, who works at the Barracks. He sent me an Instagram DM. He was just like, oh, we're doing Battle of Barracks this year. Um, we'd love to have you there if you want to have a place. And I was like, bro, of course, that would, that's like my dream, of course. I think like, especially because it's Johnny Geiger. I mean, I've followed this guy for years. He's had a lot of influence in the tricks that I do. He's definitely hyped me up to like try a lot of my flat ground tricks. I've definitely got inspiration from him to try like certain variations of tricks. Um, and honestly, like super, super sick guy. So for me, uh, I'm just stoked to go out and meet this guy and skate with him finally. And um, I mean, in terms of the game itself, like for me to actually be in it, that, that's already a win, you know what I mean? So win or lose, it's just gonna be the sickest experience. Uh, how about impossible lift flip? Impossible lift flip. Oh, still got some life in it, to be fair. That would be cool though. Front three shove, real ender. One off, uh, I've never done front three shove down anything, so. Would be kind of cool. Oh. I'm getting too excited, but front 540 shove. <laughs> on the broken board. Yeah. Like three tries and finish. Ah. Oh. Saved it. It was, it was already broken, I swear. Bro, honestly, what I love most about skating is just everything that comes with it. Because like when you say skating, it's not just it's not just the act of being on a board doing on tricks. It's like meeting up with the homies, like filming footage, like getting new tricks, and just like hanging with your friends. You know what I mean? I think like skating for so many people has just been the best like release. Like if there's ever any bad shit going on, like you can always rely on skating. It's always going to be there if you need it. You know what I mean? I think the, the ultimate goal with me for skating is probably just be doing the same thing I'm doing now, bro. Just chilling, enjoying it, learning new tricks, not trying to take it too seriously and just see what's to come, man. Honestly, just enjoy every minute of it.